you know, we're talking playing a solo guitar presentation arrangement of a bossa nova is you want to be able to play a bass note on beats one and three. Now, Brazilians, they everything's in two, so really for them it's just one, two, but for us it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. For them it's one, two, like if it's Girl from Ipanema, it's tall and tan and young and lovely. That's one and two, ooh, one and two, ooh, one and two. For us, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, young and da, da, da. So doesn't really matter, but I think in four. So I think I'm going to play that bass note on beats one and three. Tall and tan and young and lovely. The one and three. Uh, one, two, three, four. Da, 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 ba, da, 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 da. So learning to play a groove like that, where you wouldn't maybe play a chord in the middle of that, but you might want to play the melody to Girl from Ipanema on the top and the bass note of the root, maybe root and fifth, maybe just the root. If you're an F, you might want to just go F, F, F. F, 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 G, 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 D, G, G, C, do, 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 F, one and three, while you're phrasing the melody on the top strings over the top. I mean, that'll get you 85% of the way there. You know, if you can do that, that's a tip. And I mean, you can do that with any tune, even if it's not a bossa nova, you can do that with, you know, take the A train, or you can do that with all of me, you know, play the play the root of the chord on beats one and three and try to play the melody on top and not even worry about the middle voices of a chord. And that'll get you 85% of the way to playing solo guitar, you know, because you get independence where you can play a voice in your bass string and a voice on your upper string. And when people ask about solo guitar, what they're really asking is how do you control various voices simultaneously or off of each other how do you not have it be just like you know we're taught guitar with like a bar chord or an open this giant strum of six strings but you're you know solo guitar would be uh, an ability to manipulate multiple voices so with bossa nova if you can do that on one and three and play the melody that would be one thing another thing would be working out maybe some of the comping patterns, which I never did much study of other than just playing along with some records. So maybe you take a Joao Gilberto record and you pick a song that you know. If you don't, learn it, learn the chords, and then play the record and play comping with the record and try to like pretend like you're comping for Joao Gilberto's singing. Can you follow the beat of the record? Can you stay locked in with it from start to finish? Can you you know, keep that feeling going. Maybe can you record yourself playing with the record and how does that sound? You know, a lot of people have garage band, you know, I do sometimes I drag the file in a garage band and then make a new track with me and I'll comp with it and then blend it together. And how does it sound? You know, it often doesn't sound too good. I mean, it's hard to do that for a variety of technical reasons too, but you'll hear like it doesn't groove like that, you know, so a huge thing for me is playing with re recordings, not just to steal licks, which I like to do, but to just for the feel. Can I play with Miles Davis quintet? Can I play with Joao Gilberto? Tape myself and sound like I might fit in the band. Like if they were really desperate, would they hire? Could I get through the night or would it be like, man, you're just killing the groove. Get out of here. I mean, you know, I'm trying to be honest with it. And I mean, again, you have to acquire a certain skill. How do you know if that I mean, how do you know if you're doing it well? You gotta listen. You gotta you gotta grow your ear. I mean, you, you somebody could tell you, but I mean, you gotta just grow your 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 ear. So, with bossa nova, I would I would try to play with the recordings. I would listen to it. I would try to figure out what with solo guitar in general it doesn't have to be bossa nova. You have to decide what you're gonna leave out because you're not gonna be able to put it all in there like you would on a piano. You don't have as many you can't play as many notes and you so guitar is always about pruning especially solo guitar pruning away what you can leave out and what's going to communicate you know the basics of what you need and i mean back to basics i would work on the time of it i would work on i would play with a metronome or a drum machine and i would say let me keep it going you know if i make a mistake can i keep the groove going i might you know I mean, I got all kinds of exercises. You know, I might, I got a drum set here. I might just take the 
hi-hat and put on the Joao Gilberto record and play along with it and just tap my foot on one and three or two and four and just see what that feels like. Can I like keep grooving while I'm tapping my foot on two and four? Like you know, a lot of solo guitar, especially bossa nova is about keeping the groove going because you're going to make a mistake. What's going to happen? Is the groove going to completely, you know, when you, you, you learn from drummers, man, I mean, they play the drums a whole tune, 10 minute long jazz tune. If they drop their stick once, you hear it right away. Whoa, if they miss one beat, you're like, what happened? Did that guy have a stroke? What's going on over there? Like, you know, it's like one beat. I mean, they don't miss a beat. Bass player, they don't miss a beat. They hit miss one beat, you're like, what's up? I mean, it's they don't miss a beat. It's just not it's not accepted. So solo guitar, we're so used to playing out of time, rubato, we're always like dropping beats and we think, ah, it's guitar, you know. But I think with bossa nova especially it's about the groove you know metronome there's also um i used to do it with an old drum machine but you, there's an there's an app i use called time trainer and it, it's a metronome that you can set to drop out but keep the time going and then come back after three or four or six or seven measures so you you might set it to play a time for six measures and drop out for five measures so you just play and then it drops out but it keeps the time going but it's just silent and then it comes back in after five measures. Again, you're not a robot, you're not AI, you're not a machine, but you learn your tendencies. Okay, I'm always slowing it down. Whenever that metronome comes in, I'm behind where I should be, or I'm ahead, I'm too, I'm rushing. But if you can work on getting that time, it'll make everything you play sound better. I mean, with solo guitar, bossa novas, or otherwise, I mean, it's all about the time feel. How does your feel sound? of you playing, what rhythmic energy are you conveying? It doesn't just mean slowing down or speeding up. I mean, it means like the sound of your notes and the collective cohesiveness of the, of the package that you're putting out there as like solo guitar. Like how is it coming together and forming a good feeling time groove or not, you know? And like with guitar, it's really hard. With a piano, you can set up the groove with your left hand. You know, you can walk a bass line, you can stride, you can even just comp in a rhythmic way. And, you know, then this hand just becomes like a saxophone or a trumpet. It's just playing single line. Like, like you know, it doesn't matter if it's, if there's a bass and a drum or the whole big band, I mean, if the piano is soloing, he's, this is where the melodic ideas are coming and this is some kind of accompaniment. Whereas guitar, it's almost like an improvised string quartet or something like you, it's not gonna be like, chord on the bottom and bebop swinging melodies over the top it's going to be this mishmash of interlocking harmonies and so to do that requires absolute precision mechanical precision and it has to produce a swinging groove which you know very mechanically has to be worked out i mean it's very mechanical to a certain degree it's very technical it comes out very natural you know it's joe pass i mean it just People take him so much for granted, you know, that it's basic or it's this or it's that or whatever the criticisms are, but it's like, no, man, I mean, it's flowing like a river, just completely every single recording you ever hear of him is flowing like a river, just completely unencumbered. He makes mistakes, but I mean, it doesn't encumber his flow. It's completely flowing. It's completely of the moment. It's completely great. You know, it's on fire. It's it, it's cohesive. You know, with bossa novas or anything, the, co the cohesiveness of these different parts, the bass, the melody, the middle chord. How does it, you know, for solo guitar is about cohesiveness. How does it, how does it come together and form a smooth, not, you know, janky, I call it like, you know, ooh, like you're in a car with bad suspension. Like this is a rocky ride, but like a smooth ride. And people take smoothness so much for granted i mean to me that's the most hilarious thing in life people think you're smooth that it's like easy or like oh it's so relaxed or, it looks so easy or you know i mean i've been felt that i watched somebody i think it's so easy i could do that it's like no man i mean smoothness is the hardest thing to you know it's the goal and it's the hardest thing to acquire like the ability to do all this stuff and yet have it come out real smooth and flowing and clear um, I think that's hard because again, all this information coming at you, jazz information, all the scales, modes, chords, tunes, dominant, tonic, blah, 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 blah. 
It does. It's the. It, it, it does everything that it could possibly do to keep you from being clear and focused and smooth. You know. So with with any of that, I would say back to the simple basics. Anything you can do that keeps you relaxed, focused, smooth. The ideas, no matter how basic, it'll make you more listenable than if you're just trying to throw in everything you've learned and practiced. And that's not going to do anything for anybody except make them feel uncomfortable. All right, thank you so much. I'm Andy Brown. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please like it and please subscribe.